Welcome to the show. I'm in the mood for travel. How about you, Itamar? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Well, you know, Taiwan is open up, there's no more quarantines and no more outdoor mask mandate. So we got a special show for you today. We're going to introduce some great destinations. So now a lot of people are looking forward to the fireworks show in Taipei. Right. But there's also an archipelago in Taiwan that is famous for its own fireworks festival and seafood. Welcome to Penghu. There are many things about the archipelago that have attracted visitors from all over the world. Penghu is made up of 90 small islands, which means there are plenty of beaches and opportunities for water sports like kayaking and paddleboarding. Scuba diving and snorkeling also allow people to get a better glimpse of Penghu's vibrant marine life, which includes sea turtles, a wide variety of fish, coral, and even dolphins. Another major attraction is the Penghu International Fireworks Festival, which started as an annual tradition in 2003. The festival is famous for its music and dance performances, drone light shows, and of course, fireworks. Penghu's cuisine is well known for its fresh seafood. There's a kind of small squid called xiaoguan that is famous in Penghu because people often use it to make soup or savory sauces. There are even little expeditions where visitors can try fishing for the squids themselves. Once out at sea, the boat emits a green light that attracts the squid so that people can try to reel one in, although that's no easy task. However, this island paradise is in danger. Large amounts of trash wash up on the beaches every day, polluting both the land and sea. Some schools arrange for students to help pick up all the debris. One of the teachers says the students keep track of the plastic bottle's country of origin and that about 70% of the trash comes over from China. Still, there's plenty of work Taiwan can do to help reduce global warming and pollution on its own end. Due to the pandemic, Penghu has suffered from waves of over-tourism, followed by drastic drops in the number of visitors, depending on Taiwan's outbreak control. Still, as life begins returning to normal, there is also the hope that visitors from near and far can go explore this beautiful archipelago while respecting its wildlife and natural environment.